Jesus can cause things to happen within seconds and minutes. God is going to give you joy, serious joy. You carry the presence of God. God is going to give you money. We are talking of serious money. I see your way clear. God is going to give you peace, extreme peace. This is what God is going to be doing for you this year. Let us go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 28. And from verse number 6. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Let us read it together. One to go. You may be seated. This morning, the Lord has promised to exceed somebody's expectation. It is a promise from God to go beyond your expectation this morning. If you are expecting something from the Lord, God is about to do beyond your expectation. As long as you have that expectation, as long as you have desired something before coming, as long as you have asked for anything during prayer time, I'm here to announce to somebody that God is about to exceed your expectation. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too difficult for the Lord? Is there anything impossible with the Lord? So I'm here to congratulate you. Because the God that we serve is able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all that you can ask or think of. Please, I want you to talk to that person sitting next to you or standing next to you. Assure that person that this is his day, this is your day. This is your moment, this is your morning. You know, just like what the Bible says, his messes are new every morning. Get ready to smile. Get ready to laugh, get ready to run, get ready to jump, and get ready to celebrate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, I'm going to present to you something which seems to be rather confusing. But at the end, you understand where I'm coming from. So I will be talking about the supernatural interference. The supernatural interference. When the supernatural interferes in the natural. So please take your seat. You'll give me just a few minutes. Let me work this out. God is telling us something in this particular verse here. From verse 1, there are so many promises that you see given by God to us. And you notice that uh, as God was giving us all those promises, he was attaching some conditions to every uh, promise. But there is this one verse in particular. When God said something very, very, very powerful, which is still moving in my spirit and in my body. That God is giving you a promise that he is going to bless you. Bless you as you are coming in and he is promising to bless you even as you are going out. Bless you when you are coming in and bless you as you go out. Blessing you as you come and blessing you as you go. Now if you just look at it you will see that God is emphasizing on something very, very, very important. And that something is in the going out and in the coming in. Notice what is happening here. This person is about to get a blessing from God as long as he can go out. And as long as he can come in. God is not giving a promise to anybody that is just sitting. He is giving you a mandate. He is giving you an assignment. To either go out or come in. And then it is during your going out that the supernatural will interfere. is promising you and giving you a promise that as long as you are going out, I will bless you. 
Kutikana, uchibuda, and as long as you are coming in, I will also bless you. Kana, uchipinda, and Not when you are doing nothing. Kwete, usina, as long as you can go, Kana, uchikwanisa, kuyenda. It doesn't matter how much the devil has disappointed you in the past and embarrassed you in the past. As long as you still have some bit of power left within you. As long as you still have some bit of power left within you. It it looks as if God enjoys it every time. When somebody is moving from one place to another place. God said to Abraham. Come out. Buddha. And I will bless you. And I will make your name great. As long as you can come out. It is Abraham was moving from his own country. Abraham into a place which he knew nothing about. God took over. Not when he was still there, but the moment he began to move. As he was going out, the blessing of God manifested. Now, so if you begin to look at how God works in the, in the Bible, you understand there is something very, very significant in every miracle that you see God performing. God, in most cases, in most cases, he never just started by doing the supernatural. It was like the natural first and then the supernatural later. I'm not talking about the creation of the, of, of the world. I'm talking about miracles that can happen on a daily basis. In most cases, it is the natural that has to happen first and then the supernatural takes over from the natural. In most cases, in most cases, in most cases, Abraham, Abraham was supposed to move out of his country and there was nothing supernatural about his moving out of his country but his arrival had to be supernatural because he's going to a place that he, he doesn't know and he doesn't have the direction he doesn't have the map and yet there is a command from God that he should move out from a certain place to a place that he doesn't know. So the fact that Abraham was able to arrive there even without a GPS, it means there was a supernatural interference. Most of you here, you have this desire in your heart to move from one place to another 
to move from where you are to another different place to move from where you are staying right now to another different place but most of you what you are waiting for is for God to give you a map before you can move but I'm here to introduce you to something which seems to be very crazy here when you are a man of faith and a woman of faith you have to move first before the supernatural can take over <laughs> You, you have been in that place for years now. And you are tired of everything there. Your desire is for God to give you at least a new life and a new beginning. Everything around you seems to be getting old and old and old and old. Nothing excites you anymore. And you feel there is this pressure within your bones to move on. But your prayer to God is God just tell me where to go. Where should I go from here? Listen to me. Abraham, Abraham was told by God to move from one place to another place that he didn't know. And the Bible calls it Faith. Not insanity, it calls it faith. Sit down. Look at it. God is promising to bless you during your going out. I don't know, maybe my, my Bible. Is is not is not is not is not correct. I don't know. Maybe it was a typing error or something. And if you look at it, you will notice there is something there in that same face. Yes. I will bless you as you go out. Yes. The blessing is going to manifest during the going out. Yes. Not at the beginning. Not when you are planning to go out. Not when you are planning to, to start a business. The blessing is manifesting during the going out. I will bless you going. <laughs> Not when you have gone out. Not when you are thinking of going out. But as you are going out. Which means your journey. Shall be a natural journey at the beginning. And then the supernatural will take over before you finish that natural journey. I'm here to prophesy to somebody. And I believe this prophecy shall manifest. Although there is everything around you, it seems to be natural. But the supernatural is about to take over. The supernatural is about to take over. Sit down, let me explain this. Bless, I will bless you going up. And I will bless you coming in. So as long as you can have something that you are doing, have something that is running. You see, God is telling you something. That I will not bless you as you go out there and order some tomatoes. 
The blessing will not manifest during the ordering of the tomatoes. Ropa fadzwa izvirati dzepa kuhodha kwako madomasi. But there will come a time. Asi chafika nguva. During the process. Mukufamba kwenguva. As the natural is taking place. Zvenyama zvirizo zviri kutora nzimbo that the supernatural will take over. Now, I've looked at something very, very practical. And I saw it is very, 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 very concrete. It's something that is very established in the spirit. We normally have healing sessions here. Where people are coming in their thousands. A thousand people, it means you are dealing with uh, more than 10,000 cases. And there And before you come, you have to make a booking. Usati wa uya unufandra kunyoresa. And when you register yourself, pa unonyoresa zitarako, there is nothing supernatural about the registration. Apana chemu ya chiripo apa kunyoresa zitarako. And then when finally the day arrives, kana musi wacho wazo shika, you have to wake up in the morning and there is nothing supernatural about your waking up in the morning. <laughs> the and you have to get transport from your place to this place. And there is nothing miraculous about your coming. And you come to this place and you sit down. And your sitting down is not supernatural, it is natural. And the chair that you are sitting on, it is not supernatural, it is natural. And yet there is a time when the supernatural takes over from the natural. All of a sudden, within a second, second, you see miracles will begin to take place. Yes. Those miracles are happening during the going out. Yes. And the people that are receiving miracles are only the people that are here because they have gone out. Coming here like the way you did. When you wake up in the morning, there was nothing supernatural about that. As you were coming, there is nothing supernatural about that. When you got that place where you are sitting, there was nothing supernatural about that. Everything was natural after the natural and after the natural and after the natural. But there comes a point when the service is in progress. Service is in progress. When everything was just natural and bam, the supernatural takes place. So I want you to be ready wherever you are. The supernatural can take over any time from now. It looks to me as if it is a spiritual law. That the natural has to go ahead. Sit down. 
Caraipa. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh. Hey, this anointing is just something. Listen. I feel like just waking out a certain miracle here. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. I want you to relax. Just relax. God said, as you go out, I will bless you. Which means God is advising you to start something so that he can finish it. At least find anything that you can sell. <laughs> yes. My God, Marwango. My God, Marwango. When you start doing it, Ukatanga Puchita, you start it the natural way. It will start just like any other business. But it is in the going out where the supernatural will come in. My Jesus. Yes. My Jesus. Yes. My Jesus. Yes. Can I give you an example? Yes. Pastor, remember God said something. Jesus said something. Jesus said, you shall lay your hands on the sick. And they shall recover. But the miracle is not in the laying on of hands. The laying on of hands is just the going out. Listen, when we lay our hands on people, it is not the supernatural happening, it's just the natural thing. And it is during the natural thing that the supernatural will then take over. Please get me, get me, get me, get me on this. Coming to you physically and laying my hands on you it is just natural. But because I have gone out, I'm in the process of going out. The recovering part, it is the supernatural that then comes in. So can, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Just imagine for some few minutes. Imagine. This person is not feeling well. Ready to receive his miracle. And yet in the process of receiving his miracle, there has to be the natural. Receiving your healing it is a supernatural thing. But it is activated by the natural. My coming to you and laying my hands on you it is the natural that activates the supernatural. Supernatural. Then if we were to ask you questions after your healing, you, you, you would be puzzled. You, you won't even be able to answer. So now that you are healed, what have you been waiting?